The Philippine Air Force held an industrial fair recently, and different aerospace companies marketed their plans and vision of their respective products to the leadership and personnel of the Air Service branch who take part in the event. The maker of the Philippine Air Force's FA-50PH lead in fighter trainers, of which some regard it as a light multirole combat fighter aircraft, is now showcasing their plans of what will be their plans and programs for what will be an additional capability of the organization, as they provide their suggestions and ideas before the leadership and of course the marketing pitch that came with it. In June 2023, the Philippine Air Force held the year's Air Force Symposium in Pasay City's Manila Marriott Hotel, whereby different aerospace contractors such as Saab, Lockheed Martin, Embraer, and even Korea Aerospace Industries or Kai showcasing their respective military hardware. Both the first two aerospace companies mentioned showcased the JAS-39 Gripen C-D variant and F-16 Block 7072 Viper as both are competing for the multirole fighter jet projects, while Embraer showcases the A-29 Super Tucano and Korea Aerospace Industries with their FA-50PH lead in fighter jets, lift, that the Philippine Air Force both have in its fleet of aircraft. With the symposium comes the speech made by the Philippine Air Force Commanding General saying and recognizing that air power is essential in providing a full scope for its territorial defense planning and vision. As the organization sets to improve the country's Philippine Air Defense Identification Zone further, with the coordination between fighter aircraft for intercept, ground-based air defense systems, and air search radars, comes as an essential thing that ensures the security of the country's airspace. And the highlight coming from this event, among others, is the speech made by the CEO of the Korea Aerospace Industries, showcasing the South Korean firm's deal of providing the Philippine Air Force the tools and avenues that it needs of improving its capability further, ranging from the upgrades for its existing squadron of FA-50PH aircraft down to an outright offer of the KF-21 Boramay as a Prospect Horizon 3 multirole fighter. As they presented the deal, there comes the plausible outcome that a part of what they've pushed, if not its entirety, may get into consideration by the planners within the Philippine Air Force, whether it may be a request from the 5th Fighter Wing being the end user of the deal, or as it may have approved on budget inclusion and eventually finding its way to the Air Service branch's capital outlay items. Given the speech made by an official from one of the Philippine Air Force's key suppliers of military aircraft, especially with their plans and visions of having their products playing a role in the country's air defense plans and goals, we will deal with three main parts that may come from this discussion, namely the upgrades, the additional aircraft, and ultimately the future aircraft offer. 